for tuning in to Bitcoin Behind the Bar again with me, this Jake Fever, and that was Crown Peach Tea. I know I used the Diet Publix Tea because I don't like all that sugar in my liquor, so. <sighs> hey, if you from Florida and you don't know about Publix Tea, you gotta mix it with that Crown Peach. It is it, and I ain't lying to you, so. Since I'm keeping it real with y'all, I'm going to go ahead and do what I always do, try to get, give you the real skinny on something. And the subject I want to talk about is how to quit my job through Bitcoin. Now, this is all mathematical speculation of how to quit your job using Bitcoin. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So let's talk about numbers, right? The average, uh, let's just say the average person probably make about 50k a year some people make less especially if you got melanin or melanin what it is melanin in your skin yeah <laughs> you probably make less like 42k so let's think about these numbers let's wrap our minds around these numbers $42,000 a year $50,000 a year whatever you make $100,000 a year you know whatever you make just put that number in your head that's what you that's what you live off of every year so to retire and live the same lifestyle that you're living today, you'll have to find some avenue to pay you $42,000, dollars $100,000 a year. So through those avenues, you're going to have to, uh, what, what do I about to say? Not through those avenues. What? You're going to have to have somebody pay you $50,000, $42,000, a year, and you don't do any work anymore. You can quit your job. And you don't have to worry about it, right? So how can Bitcoin be that avenue for you? That's that's the question, right? Depends on how much Bitcoin you got. So let's think about this. Everybody's ready to retire tomorrow. So it's kind of hard to wrap your head around three, five, six, seven, eight, nine years. So I'm going to try to do it for you. Let's say $50,000 is the goal to hit that you need. I got my little calculator right here let's get into it we need fifty thousand dollars a year we need an avenue that can pay us fifty thousand dollars a year so most people get into stuff like life insurance yada 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 annuities and stuff like that whatever avenue you choose you choose it but make sure let's work on numbers right make sure that avenue can pay you ten percent a year on a rate of return so at that point, 10%, uh, $50,000 is 10% of what? $500,000. Whoa, $500,000, Jake. That's what that's what I need to retire? I need $500,000 of Bitcoin? Yes, you do. Um, it's not hard to get, but it's not easy to get either. It takes a lot of discipline, a lot of patience, right? So let's think about this, $500,000. Bitcoin has a rate of return of like 160-something percent a year. And let's just knock it down and just say Bitcoin has a rate of return of 100%. We're going to just leave that 67% off. All that is all good later on. Let me get a sip of this because I know I'm going, going to get into these numbers and it's going to get kind of crazy and we're going to start talking. You're going to be like, dang, Jake. That's kind of hard. But let's say you have zero, no Bitcoin, nothing, right? Now, how can you get $500,000 $500, so I can put it into something that gives me a 10% rate of return and I don't have to work anymore? And I don't need my $50,000 a year job anymore. You still will work, hopefully, if you anything productive. So we can start off at zero. You have zero dollars in the bank. And then in order to get $50,000, let's say... If you want, you want to make this happen in five years, that's 60 months. How much money would I have to put in there every month to get the $50,000? At, at a growing rate of Bitcoin at 100% a year, right? If I put 
a hundred thousand dollars in there, only have fifty five thousand dollars at the end of the, at the end of the, the five years. You need five hundred thousand dollars. So that's that's no good. Let's say if I put a thousand dollars in. Well, a thousand dollars will get you right at five hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars in five in five years. So, if you put a thousand dollars a month into Bitcoin and it moves at an average rate of return over those five years, is one hundred percent a year. So, it increases that much, right? You'll have you five hundred. You'll have you five hundred fifty-two thousand dollars. Now you're like, dang, I only make fifty thousand dollars a year. I can't put twelve thousand dollars a year into no damn Bitcoin. <laughs> That makes sense, right? Makes plenty of sense. So your timeline has to change. And what your timeline will have to do is change or you're going to have to make more money. If, if that's what you either you can find a way to get $1,000 extra a month to do it or your timeline will have to change. So let's say, let's be realistic with yourself. Let's do eight years out. Eight times 12, it'll be what, 84? Oh, I'm tripping. Eight <laughs> times 12 is not 84. Eight times 12 is 96. All right, 96, right? And let's say you can only afford $300. Will that be enough to get you to your 500? So we take eight, we go to eight years, and you'll have well over enough if you do three hundred dollars a month. If Bitcoin moves at an average rate of return of one hundred percent a year over the next eight years, that's a that's a lot for Bitcoin. But is it possible? Yes, it is. And that number would be one one million one point three million dollars. So let's go two hundred dollars. So one hundred dollars compounded monthly at a hundred percent, a hundred percent a year will be four hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. A lot of people can afford to put a hundred dollars a month, but the thing about that is, you have to be very, very diligent, patient, and actually believe in Bitcoin. What helps you do that? Understanding more about it, learning about it. Don't be emotionally involved in your investing strategies, you know, and then at that point, you can quit working and focus on what you love to do, you know, like what whatever it is that you love to do. And I wore this BitConnect shirt because stay away from scams. Stop trying to get it so fast. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff that can make crazy amount of money in this in this crypto environment. But if you stick to the script, 96 months, right? Compounding interest at 100% annual interest rate a year, which Bitcoin has been out doing that 160 something percent. Now think about this, diminishing returns and yada, 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 right? On average for the next nine years, if Bitcoin has been out doing 100% and then diminished returns, think about this over the next eight years, if you just decide, I'm just gonna do $100 a month and then you could get 454000 out of it. That's how you quit your job, right? Do you plan on quitting your job in the next eight months? Can you make an extra $100? I mean, do you plan on quitting your job in the next eight years? If the answer is yes, and you got something else going for you, then, then that's, what, that's what you're doing. But if you don't plan on quitting your job, you have no, no, no plan on quitting your job, no plan on getting out of it, and you can manage to save an extra $100 a month and put it into... Bitcoin and it's moving at an average rate of return of over a hundred percent annually. I would take that. I would try to take that risk because the risk outweighs the benefits so much greater, so much greater. So I would just had to run some numbers with the uh, with the peach tea and try to tell you guys, man, you can actually quit your job if you just stop, stop listening to the noise, calm down. And just strategically put together a plan. You gotta pull out your own calculator. You gotta pull out your own numbers to see what matters. If you make sixty thousand dollars a year, man, how can I replace sixty thousand dollars a year? So this is how I look at it. If you, uh, if you make sixty thousand, 
you got 600000 and if you can get an annual rate of return from anywhere, not Bitcoin, any anybody that you feel comfortable with, you know, to give them the whole six hundred, and you get paid sixty thousand dollars a year. You uh, can draw that off and make sixty thousand dollars a year, not working for anybody. Now you can do whatever you want to for yourself. So that's that's the kind of like mindset you gotta have. But you gotta pull your own numbers out and actually see see the compound interest work for you. But if you can't see past six months, eight months, ten months, twelve months, two years, four years, then you're this is not gonna work for you. This is not for you. This is strictly for the ones that can see past those those days. See past those dates. See it coming. So this is Jake Fever, the Bitcoin behind the bar. I hope I helped you out. Drop a comment, a question, and maybe I can get further into it and explain to you. This is pretty much what you call dollar cost averaging. So like, if you want a dollar cost average a certain amount every month, do that. You know, this is this is a way you can help yourself. And dollar cost averaging don't matter what the price is. You know, you're putting that money in and it's compounding at that rate. So thank you for tuning in. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Bitcoin behind the bar. This is Jake Fever, and I appreciate y'all for watching. Check this out. If you want to hear more about drinks and stuff, go to uh, Jake Fever Drink Reviews on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you want to know about more money talk, Outside of crypto, I got a YouTube channel called Money Grows on Trees Network. You can check me out. And also, I got a special discount on my gear. Thanks to the gentleman of crypto, you can use code GENTS5. And I'll pop it up somewhere around here. GENTS5, to get 5% off. Anytime you go on jfema.com for get some gear like this. Yes, sir.